Hey there, everybody, Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm excited about this one, and not for that intel. Well, the intel's fine. Uh, Parrish is recovered from his wounds, too, but more importantly, we got a new gun coming down the way. And we have a new covert action getting completed, and I am very excited about both of those. Let's go recover real faster. Okay, we have some big tough boys who need to be ready to do some big tough mission here. So we're gonna get them ready. Okay, the bombardier. Send them straight to their false gods. Now I'm gonna check out this one on Wrathburger, similar to the last one, because I believe this one, the one I gave him was technically a sniper. I can't because he's on the covert action. Okay. Uh, it would be hilarious if the bombardier was actually meant to go to like Sparks. But I don't think any of them go to Sparks, do they? Uh, they do not. Sad spark noises. So that's okay. Honestly, his plasma mini gun with the 14 to 17 damage is more than enough to really wreck some fools here and there. So I'm not too worried about that. I don't have anyone else who uses a big gun, though. That I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, now actually, Wingus and Rathburger are the two that do use big guns. Funnily enough, they, they use them together and they're pretty effective. I'm just double checking myself right now because I really don't have anyone else who uses the big guns, huh? That feels surprising. I mean, Doomslayer technically does, but Doomslayer switches guns, you know? So that they don't count. Mm, please understand. All right. All fair, all fair. I could see about equipping big guns on other people at some point. I could give someone like Sai if I wanted to switch out his uh, laser rifle at some point. Which is a good weapon. Don't get it twisted. But you know, there's also the Bombardier. Uh, 9 to 12 damage. Squad Sight. Big clip. Armor pierce. Uh, so it's a sniper rifle. Okay. Shots cause an explosion. Dare I give my dude squad sight? I didn't realize it was a sniper. I probably should have. My brain refused to realize it, I guess. Um, I kind of want to do this. You know? Gotta give him all the warheads, of course. Flashbang. Mm, I mean, you could give him some defensive stuff. Honestly, the fire eater suit feels like it makes sense and then he's got to have incendiary warheads and then I guess with this he's got to have phantom slayer rounds um the only thing I'm questioning is does he need the plasma warhead it's fine but others do other things better like the acid warhead does shred like twice as much shred literally could argue it's much stronger the magnetic grenade. It will damage all units. I mean, yeah, that's kind of what they're there to do. So that does make sense. Um, oh, that's right. He's going to need a launcher, too. Hmm. That is true. I kind of want to give him the acidic one. And he kind of needs a gauntlet. He doesn't really need a gauntlet. But he gets a lot of new, better things if he has a gauntlet. Maybe he doesn't need the flashbang. Maybe he just needs the hurdy stuff. You know, give him plenty of hurdy stuff. Then give him the launchy stuff. Let's go ahead and give him the raider. Kind of like how it's just one big barrel. Should work. Should work. Uh, fire eater suit. I mean, I can't switch that off for another. Oh, I can. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm going to keep him with a fire eater suit. I like the idea of it. All right. I like the idea of most of this. We're going to see how it works out. And then, of course, you can still upgrade it because video games. So now it's 10 shots, which is nice. Hair trigger in case one of them misses. And then... Mm, aim at long range could be an idea. And then crit chance. 
Ah, eh, we'll give him the scope. Okay. We'll see how that works out. I'm interested. He obviously won't be able to go on the next mission probably. Well, maybe they'll still let him go. Reynold is doing the covert action, but he because he's going to be on the battlefield, they still might let me send another officer. Yeah, it's uh, you get, get through those loopholes, you know. He now has bioelectric skin. All right, let's just carry on. Hello. What's going on? Avatar project. Commander, the aliens continue. Oh, that's a name I haven't heard in a long Avatar time. Project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I'll move Commander, as fast as I want. Oh, hello. Nice. Exalted Pathfinder Hunters, an Advent Spark. Uh, this this is not a lot of enemies. Stealth insertion requires a company officer. Stolen shields, we get a free block. Experimental armor testing. All enemies gain bonus armor. Ah, that's the catch, huh? Let's go take it out. The Australian sector. That is not the direction I expect you to fly. But that's okay. You can fly however you want, Avenger. You do what you need to do. Okay. So, who do we send on this mission? You know, everyone who was at a recent mission gained a bunch of AP because they all got combat intelligence. Which is kind of nuts. Uh, yeah, give me Chain Lightning. Okay, now Chilling Chillings can sling at everyone. We're not going to take him or Bale on this mission, but we're going to make him stronger. Guarantee hit on all targets in your line of fire by spending extra ammo. Cannot crit, but ends your turn. Goodness, McGracious, man. Uh, bring him on. Extra damage on crits for every two enemies you see. Run and gun. Hunter's instincts. Overcharge. Guaranteed to crit if it hits and pierces five armor. I think that's supposed to be guaranteed to crit if it hits. Comma. And it pierces five armor. I can't prove this. But I feel like that's what it's supposed to mean. Anyway. Give me fire for effect. That's going to be amazing when we get to a mission where you can use it. Okay. Um, that mother you can hold back. Outrider you can hold back. Chibi, you went on a mission recently. Prophet, you rocked it recently. Uh, yeah, I was thinking we'd take Vasilla. Oh, Vasilla has doesn't have full willpower. Because she also went on a mission recently. But that's okay. I think she could do good here. In fact, they got a lot of Pathfinders. They're kind of like snipers, right? So we're counter-sniping. You know? Think of it like that. Take Sin, of course to go with you. And who else can we bring along? Parrish, you're good to go. All right? Nothing says we need to be quiet here. It's a stealth insertion. That doesn't mean it has to be a stealth exit. Plus, our goal is to neutralize a VIP. Which means we could just blow him up. Jack, come here. You're going to help, too. Like I said, we might just blow him up. Now, there's going to be eight Advent, and I guess there's going to be eight of us, so it's going to be an even match, at least in theory. And we can bring uh, Bree and Glitch. I think Glitch... Glitch put in a great performance recently, though. You know, a lot of our psionics come into their own. Gotta say. Where is Glitch on this dang old list? I'm losing my mind again. Help me find it. There it is. Okay, there, there. Uh, you also have 21 AP, um, Bree. Glitch doesn't, which is unfortunate, but... Hit and run. Gain an additional move after taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target with your primary weapon. Hmm. Bonus damage on armored targets. We need to run and gun for some of these, and we don't have it. Shadow Strike. Ooh, 50% chance to hit and crit from concealment. Relocation. Refund an action point when you are revealed from concealment via your own action. Oh, if we could get this whole line here, she would become the stealthiest shielded soldier in stealthy shieldland could be good could be good who else should we take mm, you know what we got a we got our first muton viking let's see what a viking can do out on the battlefield i feel like this could be nice and spicy and neat so i'm curious and to round out the team let's bring we haven't brought Doomslayer in a while. Doesn't mean I have to break them. I'm just pointing it out more than anything else. Right, let's bring Speed Crush. Yeah. We, they have snipers. 
We got snipers. We also have people that launch rockets. They don't necessarily snipe. That's okay, though. All right, and they kill. Sky Ranger Menace, ready to deploy. Off to Operation Wraith Pistol. Okay. That's a great name for a sniper, by the way. The Wraith Pistol. Mm, the gun or the person? That is just both. All right. And although if their name is Wraith and their sniper rifle, they could call that their Wraith Pistol. Okay. And then you can throw all the windows in there that you want, okay? But, it'll be good stuff. You know, it's starting to warm up over here on this side of the planet. It's about time. You know? Like a quarter of the way through the year here, and it's just starting to temperature change? Like, what the heck? No, sorry, it's, just, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, I think. Although... There's always that good old argument. Would you rather be too hot or too cold? And you know, the the easy way out is you'd rather be too cold. Why? You can always put on more clothes. You know, you put on some extra shirts. You can layer. You can put on a blanket. You can put on a thick jacket, a windbreaker. You can do all that to stay warm. So you get too warm, all you have to do is remove layers. And eventually you get to the layer known as the skin. I don't know if you've heard of this but it's apparently attached right to our muscles and right to our nerves. And you can't take it off. You know, I can't say I've tried. I'm sure someone has. And they probably did not have a good time. So if it gets too hot, there's not really too much you could do. Other than, you know, use external methods to get cooler. Now, I know what you're thinking. That isn't clothing an external method. I mean, I guess, but I feel like if you're wearing it, it's an extension of your body. At least that's how I feel about my clothing while I'm wearing it, you know? You wear something long enough, you don't feel like you're wearing extra, you know? You don't feel like you have extra on. You've been wearing jeans all day. By the end of the day, you don't feel like you're wearing jeans. You feel like you just, you're wearing clothes. You know, it's who you are. You are a person and a person has an extra layer outside of their skin to protect them and keep them at a comfortable temperature. Did I ask to be interrupted, Central? Oh my god, Jack, are you okay? Oh my gosh, uh, Viking, do you, are you okay? I don't know if they were okay. All right, can we capture the VIP alive? I mean, probably yes. I almost definitely. Oh, hey, it's one of these um, bases. I like the ones with the little, like, weird antenna thingy. Satellite dish, I guess. Radio tower, whatever you want to call it. All right, everyone's going to have extra armor. Which is going to be annoying. That's how I'm going to put it. Um, speed Crush, are you okay? Oh, my God. Look how much armor Speed Crush has. Okay, yeah, Speed Crush is okay. Vikings over here rocking four armor, which is pretty good. Menace one five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. That was Eliminate fast. Assuming that means the exalted are there. Hey, well we found the exit. That's good. Roger, squad on the move. Weapons hop. All right, you heard speed crush. Okay, we'll take a minute to get your shields up, I guess. Yeah, we got them. We stole them. We might as well use them. Thank y'all. All right. First things first, I'm a craftsman. Remodeling is my only passion, but also move up uh, Viking. So, so let's see, you have the Blood Cursed Warhead. Oh, well, there they are. Six armor each? Well, the cell didn't last long. Hi. Six to seven damage inflicts Blood Curse and pierces armor. Wow, it pierces all of it, too. Although your regular shot ain't that shabby. Go ahead and just give him the oofens. Let's see what this Viking can do. Oh, that'll get you to Valhalla for sure. You, already, you just killed one straight out. Oh, and thanks to your implacability, you get the move undercover. All right, well, that was an amazing, phenomenal, absolutely outstanding first turn. Like, I don't know if you could ask for a better yeah. first turn than that. Hey, glitch. Like, not, not like your first turn of the battle, but like your inaugural turn. The very first turn you made as an XCOM member. That was freaking nuts. Now, glitch. Concentrate. Give me a free kill. 
And don't tell me to concentrate. You're the one using your psionics. You have more belts than a Final Fantasy character. Do you see that? Actually, I think you, you, your suit is probably a Final Fantasy suit now that I think about it. Um, Bri, or, yeah, Bree, you're still in stealth. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can take advantage of that. Speed Crush. There's nowhere to get upstairs. No, that kind of stinks. All right. Well, in that case, 75%, that's not good enough. Let's go ahead and get you moving. Come on. You also have some options for bigger booms. Something to keep in mind. 79, that's still not good enough. Basilla, you're also going to need to move up. Tell you what, for now, let's move you over this way. Then I might have you move in for the kill if I have to, but I think Vasilla might be able to just 100% it with the pistol. To carry corpses. I don't need to listen to any more of this. Seen us. All right, Savage Stun Mine, Hunter Terror Round. Wow, I got all the stuff, all the goodies. Okay, move up. Sin, let's go ahead and move you up as well. We got some good cover right here. Go ahead and go grab it. Perish. Oh, yeah, we're going to need you to get us inside. And I know exactly how you're going to do that, and you know you do too. Go ahead and move over this way, please. Move, move, move. All right, Jack, go ahead and stick with Parrish. You got the ever vigilance, so it should work out great in our favor. You know what? Go ahead and stick okay. with Parrish too, uh, Bree. I think that'll help out. As you wish, I'm compelled to agree. All right, that's the spark. Yeah, there it is. Well, <gasps> that's a spark ruler. That is a spark ruler. Oh my gosh, that has 110 health. And it's numbers on backwards. I did not expect that. You have one point of damage missing, so we, we fought you before. That's a miss. This unit scanners are active. Ah, crap. Well, this could suck. Okay. Well, frick. I don't think Blood Curse is going to help us out here. Speed Crush, you do have a Hesh shell, which could give us one kill and shred some armor. You also have the uh, flechette shell, which is not nearly as good. And the heat up, but that's 15 to 17 damage. The Hesh does less, but it gets the kill on the uh, shield bearer. Take that kill. The of this machine is that was a beautiful arc. It did not kill him. I am losing my mind. All right. Uh, whew, we do not get a guaranteed kill on either of these. Okay, you hold up, Basilla. We do have a lightning slash available. We have circuit breaker, which should get a stun. Let's go for it. Break that dude's circuits. This body is disposable. Okay, that's good. Free hit from Jack. He still misses. Uh, all right. Perish. Let's see. It still has armor, right? We could use the Mishan rocket bra. Actually, the Mishan jetpack is a free move. Oh, I know where I want you. I want you up here. I can't jetpack you up there. Oh, my soul. That hurts. Well, I'll tell you what. If that's not going to work, then getting behind cover over here will. Hello? All right. Let's go ahead and use the rocket barrage to start us off. Can you get all three of them? Oh, my gosh. You can do it. That'll, that will also break the overwatch. Like how he just looks like he flexes on them. Okay, that did some damage to that spark. Now we can rocket launcher mm, on the big one. You have a grenade? Why do you have a plasma warhead? You know what? I'm not complaining. Look at all the damage and the armor shred it'll do. Toss it out there. Hello? Okay, that did wake up the spark. Remember, ruler reactions. Wait, it gave him two moves? Thank goodness for those shields. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Not good. Jack. I mean, your dual strike has not been worth... I mean, your regular strike, I should say, hasn't been worth too much right yet. Move over this way. Of course, we find a uh, turret. Okay, that turret could be easily taken care of, though. Tell you what, let's go ahead and try to easily take care of it. Give, give Parrish another move. That procs a ruler reaction? That's insane, but okay. Is this what pain is? 
That rocked a bacilla reaction. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, that's what you get, you bastard. Ruler root protocol. Roots a unit to its current position. Ooh. Jeez, ruler strike. Escape. Well, duh. Micro missiles. Jeez, they got so much. Okay, let's fire a rocket right here. Tear that thing down. Actually, can we hit it with a magnetic minigun? No. I assume there's nothing else we could hit it with either. This rocket has a bigger boom, but we can't get it where we want it. Go ahead and hit this. Crack yep, crack it. Boom. That's done. Okay, yeah, shoot a parish. Oh, wait, it's Try running already? Alright, Vasilla. Use banish on the bastard. Give it all your ammo. Get four shots on it. Or, wait, six <laughs> shots, it should be. That, yeah, that probably does hurt. I would think so. I suppose this body is disposable. Yeah, that's 26. 39? 40. No crit chance on these. 53. Oh, there's the money shot. 14. You got him. CTD rounds. Crash to desktop rounds. Nice. Beautiful, even. Good stuff, Basilla. Did not think we were going to get him. Bree, you see anything? No? Okay. Going to Overwatch here. All right, Viking. Now you can move up and start uh, maybe doing stuff. We're going to get a little bit closer. Okay. Glitch, let's move you across the way. Fine. Viking, I guess all he got is Overwatch. Glitch, you might have something, though. Oh, yeah, you can see him. Uh, yeah, the Void Rip, 4 to 7 damage. You know what? The Null Lance is a guaranteed kill. Lance him. Use your head. All right. Good psionics here from Glitch. Boom, baby. All right. Sparks are down. Love it. Love it a lot. All right, lads. I can give it a try. You're fine. You're fine. Zen, you're, you're perfectly alive. Okay. Move up, Jack. I read the bit. Target identity Beautiful. Confirmed. Okay. Move up a little bit farther. Remember, he gets ever vigilant, so Jack can take whoever shows up. Pathfinders. Uh, hi. Yeah, you don't say. Hmm. Yeah, they they really said that. Can you believe it? How actually dare they? Ah, I can't get the bunker buster where we want it. We can't uh, jetpack for another round. So, give me some augmented speed. This Gives you. The president must feel like all the time. <laughs> all right, move a little bit closer. He could still bunker bust from here, thanks to that. But I don't think he can get it far enough. Yeah, there's not a scenario where we can get it to where we need it. We could grapple. Get upstairs. You know what? Let's see what we can do from up here. Wee. Wee. All right. That's the stuff. All right. Time to feel good. Wait, that, does that kill the VIP? That kills the VIP. Wait, can I move it over like one more to not kill the VIP? No, that's going to kill the VIP no matter what. Uh, I tell you, we don't need to bust the bunker necessarily. So let's go ahead and use the rocket. We'll do more damage. Can we get it where we want it? No. Rocket will do more damage, but the rocket barrage gets to where we need it. Send them. I also blew up some roof, which is actually very helpful. Now you can actually see them. Exalted Pathfinder Hunter, eh? Actually, give me a dual strike on him. 98%? Give me the double. Oh, and the cleansing fire, which is another extra shot. Yeah. I got three words for you. U S A. Beautiful, beautiful. No problem, boss. All right, Sin. I know you're still a little dazed right now. I can see triple, but you'll be fine. Hey, okay, everyone, move up. Getting it done. I think we're ready to scoot. Let's move. 
So start heading towards Extract, basically. This is a very clean mission so far. Speed Crush, actually, you just get moving through. Okay, Vasilla, let's go. Go, go! We need the team to move up. All right. Oh, there's two of them left. And that one's smart scanning. Well, that's me not paying en enough attention. Where? Oh, crap. He's heading upstairs. He's going to shoot a parish, isn't he? No, he's going to overwatch. Well, you're going to wish you shot a parish here in a minute. Is that a kill? God damn. Thanks for all the stuff. We do get to keep those after the battle, right? Even though we have to retreat, quote unquote. I sure hope we do. All right. Good stuff. 56% is not good enough. Vasilla, 90% might be good enough. Let's see if it is. It's good enough. Beautiful. All right. You compensate later. All right, Sin. Wait! I didn't mean for you to Vorpal slap... Status confirmed. Well, Target eliminated. I mean, that does get us what we need. All right, well, let's get out then. Go, go, go! Charge! That wasn't really the plan, but thank you. Hey, uh, Jack, why don't you go get the stuff? All right. Bree is still technically in stealth. It's kind of great. Grappling! I'm gonna get upstairs. Yo. And then head towards extract. Rolling out. Ain't nobody gonna see her. <laughs> if you Hold can get on. out this turn, you might as well, but you know. Shake a leg. Alright, get them bacons shaken. Hey yo! Good stuff, speed crush. Mount up. Bye bye Thanks for killing the hip. It's partially my fault. Oh, hello. Dennis one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. I see that. That's literally where we ha are supposed to be extracting to. Okay, Jack, go ahead and uh, grab the items. Eh, nothing amazing. Okay, and then we need to get you upstairs as soon as we can, and I think this ladder is the quickest way. Yeah, so head over here. Okay, uh, Bree, go and uh, Overwatch. And then, Parrish, why don't you get back here and go into Overwatch as well? I got your six. Thank you. Silly, you should be able to hook. You can't get it up there? I am losing my mind. What if I Let's bring you over here? Then could you hook upwards? Yes, okay. Get upstairs. It. Thank you. And then I guess you'll give me the pistol Overwatch. Which is still fine. Ready. All right. Yes, sir. Viking, can we get you up here? Not yet. Okay. Come over this way then. Oh, hi, Jack. How you doing? All right. Bring on the tank. What else was it gonna be? You, you spotted. You don't say. Okay, they're running. Well, that one's dead. Ooh, nice shot in the ass. You did not win, Parrish. So what happens if a tank falls through the floor? Let's find out. All right, Parrish. Let's find out what happens if a tank falls through the floor, shall we? Um, does this only take one action? It does. Go ahead and shoot it with this first. Just to give it some nasty. That's shred at all? He does not shred at all. Those all might as well have deflected. <laughs> all right, that's fine. Um, oh, this is uh, compromising. You know what? We'll uncompromise. I can't fly you over there? This will work. It's got to be within sight range, I assume. All right. Mm, I'd rather not that not scatter, but let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, Parrish. Blow him up. 
Well, it did fall, and so did Bree, but... Oh, Bree took some physical damage. Dang it. And that caused... Yeah. Well, that's worse. Um... It's fine, it's fine. Priscilla, could you get a better shot with a pistol? Yes, go ahead and just... Open. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I did say thank you. Heschel seems perfect for this guy. Actually, can he fall down even farther? Maybe? I think he can. Let's test that. Okay. Uh, I don't want to blow up Bree. Just the tank. Okay. Down he goes. I mean, we're doing damage to... Hello. Hi. How you doing? Thankfully, uh, Viking gets a lot of shred. Bam! I do like the, uh, the blaster that the mutons get. It's like a single target, single shot, almost Spartan laser style weapon. I think. I don't know. I don't know what the Spartan laser is. Um, I just heard it was cool. Give me the acid bullet for that. Well, for the acid burn, really. Thank you. And the rust. Got a 48 health. Okay. Uh, Jack, get behind some cover. And start blasting. Actually, go ahead and give me the uh, rapid targeting. It's free. Beautiful. I just assume you do it with your wrist. Like everything else. He's a master of the wrist. Oh, crap. That was all our moves. This is... This is spicy. That's blooming death. Well, that was a lot of shred, but no actual damage. So that was lucky. Okay, we're going to need to start uh, extracting here, because I'm sure they're going to put another teleporter on us, like, very quickly. So let's get close to extraction for some of you. Some of you will be able to move with no problem. Uh, so we'll come down here. I'm on my way. Okay. Parish, come over this way. This is a good angle. Okay. Jack, start heading towards extraction. Let's see, Bree, you have a good shot here. Let's see. Slug shot, 10 to 11. Trench, it's not going to be more damage. Honestly, yeah, the slug shot's the best thing you got. Use it. Nice. No crit, but I'll take it. Parish. 10, 13. It would kill on a crit, but we don't have crit chance. Okay, it just does 14. Alright, sure, why not? I don't know, man. Roger that. Either way, enemy dominated. Alright. Now we start heading out. And let me guess. Teleporter right on extraction again. Maybe. No? I'm not complaining. All right, let's get out. Okay, we should be able to get most of us out this turn at this rate. Priscilla's out. Parrish is not quite out. He's getting there. Okay. Let's see. Bree is not quite out. But that's all right. Most of the team is out. And you two can get out in just a minute. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Moving out. Yep, go ahead and sort it all out. Very, very minor damage to Bree. I'm going. So I think you'll be okay. It's kind of weird the environmental damage doesn't Mission accomplished. get ablated, but eh, I'm not I'm not that bothered by it. Two wounds. Alright. Uh, speed crush with 25 damage, one kill and 49 damage for Viking. Like I said, not bad for how that uh, mission started. 2 and 20 for Glitch, 1 and 43 in perfect accuracy for Bree. 2 and 43 for Jack, 2 and 71 for Parrish, 1 kill and 10 damage for Sin, which means our MVP is Vasilla with perfect accuracy on 11 shots, 120 damage and four kills. With the main one being on that spark ruler, of course. Makes a huge difference when you can knock out a ruler, you know. All right, 
beautiful stuff absolute beautiful stuff if i do say so myself and i do because i did all right bring us on home central let's see what the damage is on brie and sin did sin get hurt i thought he only lost as a blade of armor I guess we'll find out here in a bit. I know we got disoriented. It's all good either way. The most under fire was Viking. Did Viking get hurt? I don't think Viking didn't get hurt, did he? Who's the other one that got hurt? Bree, out for one day, you're fine. Probably less than 12 hours. It was Sin, okay, okay. It's kind of what I thought, wasn't 100% sure. Auto loader. Oh, they didn't give us all the great, cool Pathfinder stuff. I know it's because we had to extract out of the mission, but that's still awful, horrible, and stupid. It's like, why even put those enemies there? All right, but we did get an Advent Spark chassis, and I believe we will be able to dissect that. And CTD rounds. No prizes for the right guess to what CTD means. This rounds wreak havoc on robotic units. Though not as effective as our own blue screen rounds, it does additional damage to units with shield HP. Your troops performed interesting. Hmm. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project. And I'll have to and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Keep that in mind. That's interesting. Interesting indeed, I do think. Alright, what do we got? Well, we got Avatar Project done. If you've got the time, we have Are you kidding me, dude? That could benefit from your help. <sighs> Oh, it's chrysalids, too. All right, we're going to do that later. Um, so we have the spark. Can we just equip the spark chassis? Because I would have expected it to become a research project, but it didn't say it did. Hans, come here. Yeah, yeah we can just equip it. Uh, less health. Same armor, same mobility. A little bit of dodge. Armor repair module. Gains the ability to automatically repair shredded armor. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Predictive close quarters module. Reduce damage from melee. Huh. All right. Sure. You could use some different armor. And then, of course, we got the new rounds. Three robotic damage against five that with the, bl the blue screen rounds will give us. And then additional damage to a shield, which it doesn't say how much. So that's kind of it. Eh, okay. Not very impressive rewards. I mean, the, maybe the armor is actually really good compared to the default. Well, no, the default's and eyes chassis, so you lose health either way. But you gain the ability to repair. Okay. Yeah, and reduce damage from melee. Which could be great for sending you primarily against the lost, I guess? I don't know, man. What I do know is... That is... You're gonna hate me for this, but this is gonna be it for this episode of that plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I guess next time, I was hoping to pause this one and say next time we're gonna take on them dang uh, traitors. Those dang Black Legion chaos warriors but no instead we're gonna help vol got his soldiers stuck in a ditch or something we gotta go get a tow truck and get them out how do you keep doing this i swear we've done this mission for you like four times in this campaign bulk get your people under control anyway like I said, that's going to be it for this episode of That Plays XCOM 2 War The Chosen. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let me in by giving it a like, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Because it'll keep going, it'll stop till it does. And then it will. Something else will come after that. And hopefully you'll enjoy that too. But it ain't over yet. Thanks again for watching this episode of XCOM 2 War The Chosen. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes. Yo. I hit my elbow on my desk. I don't know if you heard it or not. It didn't really hurt, but... uh just thought I'd point that out. All right, see y'all next time.